So after that, for the WWE Tag Team Titles, the New Day defend in a fatal four-way tag team title match between Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, Enzo and Moray, and Big Cass, and the Vaude Villains. Who walks out of this match with the titles in tow? Um, I'm going to defer to you on this one. I'm interested to see what you think. I have a couple of thoughts on it. I think it's hard to say. I mean, they said last night on Raw, and they've been bringing... I mean, they've been mentioning it for a while now, but they're really hammering it home, like really, really mentioning it a lot more prominently recently that that the New Day is coming close. They're closing in on that longest reigning uh, record of all time, which I think is like 11 months. So if they make it another month, I don't know if it's before or after Battleground, I'd have to check, but if they make it another month, I think they might pass that record. But they might play the story that they're coming in close and they're going to take the titles off of them. And it's really, I think any four of these teams could walk out with the victory. I could see very easily New Day retaining, only to retain until SummerSlam to do, you know, that, that's where they won the belts a year ago, so they could do a whole story with Enzo and Cass or something you know, in their backyard of Brooklyn. Enzo and Cass could win here. They're so over right now. I mean, the Vaud Villains, they can even throw them a bone if they want to. Even Gallows and Anderson are riding a wave of momentum, but... Uh, it's hard to say. I think New Day, there's a chance they could go over, and I would not be surprised, and I'd be happy if they did. But I'll go off on a limb, and I'll say Gallows and Anderson, just because they pinned the champs last night, and they put and that puts New Day in chase mode. I want to see New Day retain just to break the record, but for some reason I have some feeling that Gallows and Anderson win the belts here. I agree. Um, you know, you still go through your favorite team. Not a... Uh... I'm a huge fan of the Vaughn villains, but they're not that, they're not bad. I, I think there's a two percent chance of them winning. Um, but then you go and you have uh, New Day. Yeah, you know, it depends how close to the record they are. Um, but they're an entertaining act. They opened it all last night. You know, I feel like the company has a lot of faith in them, and they are great with the crowd. They move merchandise like crazy. You see a ton of uh, Booty O shirts nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Uh, yeah, and I know merchandise is like the number one thing with Vince, so I could definitely see them uh, holding on to the titles. Um, and I, you know, I do believe eventually the club or uh, you know Gallows and Anderson they will get those tag titles. I would even say before the end of summer. Um, but I, it's a nice little feud, New Day and uh, Gallows Anderson. So I'm going to go with New Day retaining. Uh, I think it's too early for his own cast, even though they are an entertaining uh, act. And uh, all villains, I don't think, have a chance. So I'm going to go, uh, although it's a new day retaining, but like I said, mark my words, no doubt in my mind that uh, that the club will uh, they'll be tag they'll be tag team champions before the end of summer, probably at SummerSlam. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised in that respect. I mean, it's just funny, too. I mean, we were both at SummerSlam last year. New Day was one of the most overacts the entire show when they won the championships, and they've been champions ever since. But it's just crazy to me that, I mean, they're so entertaining, it's not really that surprising, but a lot of acts like that, they're only hot for maybe a month, maybe a, a month or two after that. But these guys have been a, a consistently entertaining and hot act, even merchandise-wise. Like you said, one of the hottest merchandise sellers in the company. For the past I nearly... Know, it's great, too, that um, they... I feel like when we saw them last year, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm pretty sure they were heels or they were, you know, they were... They were tweeners. Yeah, know, yeah. You know, face type thing. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those rare instances where I'm, I'm impressed that either Triple H or, or uh, Vince, I'm pretty sure, probably gave them freedom you know, to do what they want or whatever, and they've kind of run with it and become this very over, very entertaining act. And uh, I'm impressed, you know, and I feel like they can they can work well, just as well as heels as they can as faces, and that's very valuable. That can't go understated. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a big New Day fan, uh, and I'm very impressed with what they did. It's come a long way since that whole, you know, like, preacher act that they first started with. So... And it's getting all three of them over, which is nice. You know, all three of them are uh, pretty over. Exactly, yeah. All three, whenever they break up, which hopefully isn't anytime soon, anytime in the near future, these three guys will be bigger stars, way bigger stars than they were beforehand. I mean, Xavier Woods was really nobody beforehand. Big E was just kind of floundering. He's going to be, he's he's allowed his personality to shine through through the New Day, so he should be just fine. And even Kofi Kingston, who's been around for almost a decade at this point, has like rejuvenated his career with the New Day. So these three guys will be just fine in the future. And uh, like you said, one of the best acts, if not the best act on the roster right now.